quietly. I, I'm sorry, Jeff and I had a bit of an argument, so we're just doing what we learned to do in therapy to get over it. We'll be right with you. <laughs> when you say to me that I'm a bastard, it makes me feel less than. I hear what you're saying. Yes. And I understand. I don't think the crikey works. No, I am still pissed at you. And I you. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. My first and only guest is... No, my first and beginning guest. The first contestant on the big cash prize tonight is... Academy Award nominee, best supporting actor for my week with uh, Marilyn. Yeah, take a look at this. A season in rep. They wouldn't stand for this kind of nonsense at the Hippodrome in Eastport. Larry, you have to be patient with her. Trying to teach Marilyn how to act is like teaching Urdu to a badger. <laughs> Why, that's the most ridiculous thing I ever heard. <laughs> Please welcome Kenneth Branagh, everybody. Kenneth Branagh. Thank you very much. You Thank look you. awesome. Thank you Your very hair much. looks toastly. It's Thank almost you. as if you're prepared to accept the Oscar oh, already. Oh, shush and shush. Well, you're quite... What do you... Uh, do, yes. you do you do your hair yourself? No, no, no I don't. Do does you? somebody run their hands through your hair You've got a you? machine here. Have they? Actually, yeah, is no, it a machine, really? Well, not really, no. Not but really. what it is, is like, it looks like a big mixer. Right, okay. And, and sometimes... What are you mixing it? Well, you don't. You just put it on your head. It's like a, a, like wires, and it okay. goes on your head, and it makes you go... Oh. Can I touch your hair? Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, that's lovely, because it has bulk and substance, and yet is smooth to the touch. And so, I think... You could be describing <laughs> my penis. <laughs> but I think... Now, by contrast, that's something I wouldn't like to touch. Um, thank you. Thank you. you sure? No, I'm absolutely... Yeah. Also, You're... can I ask you a question? How do you feign diarrhoea? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, well, you'd probably know, being the actor that you are, but I'll give you a lesson. Here's what it is. <laughs> yes. No, I'm kidding. Actually, good, and I'm glad it's... Uh, sorry, you don't have to do anything else beyond that. I'm sorry I didn't feign it. We have to go to a commercial. Oh, uh, yeah. oh and he's right. No, um, come on. Um, and you're, well, congratulations on getting the Oscar nomination. Thank That's you fantastic. Very much. Oh, no, thank, yeah. you. thank you. <laughs> no. Thank you. Do you know what? Yesterday, yesterday we went to the, the nominees luncheon, which is the, 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 the moment where it's like a sort of high school graduation where everybody gets their certificate. It sounds oh. sort of odd with the Oscars, but you, you, you stand in, a, everybody lines up, and so mm -hmm. there's Mr. Spielberg and Mr. Scorsese and all these people, 140 people, right. all on these bleachers, and then you get called up and you get your certificate. And I, I was standing there with a sort of inane grin on my, my, my face because it was so thrilling. And so were all of they. Everybody is so excited. You think it's so grand, but actually that bit of it is no, so... I am it's simply be great. fun. It was no, brilliant. Well, that's, that's the Oscars. Uh oh. Golden Globe is the Oscars. Man. <laughs> the Oscars. It well, means very nice. something. It means something. It was, well, it meant something to all of us. Well, it, it so does. Nice. It's the Oscar. It's important. It's very and nice. didn't you get the Oscar nom for uh, Henry V? I did. Yes, indeed. And yes, yes. Wasn't that your first film? It was indeed, yes. And because yes. I saw it, it was very good. Thank you very and much. And wasn't you. that Lawrence Olivier? Didn't he do that early on in his career? Yes, yeah. he did. And so, whatever it was, 50 years later, we. we That's we, we weird, though, isn't it? It's like, oh. It is a little weird to end up playing him, you know, because yeah. it was something I didn't expect to do. And, and uh, But it was, it was great to go back and look at all his work and then have a chance to do this little weird moment in his life where he directed Marilyn Monroe, at that time the biggest movie star in the world. Yeah. He was the greatest actor in the world. And it should have been a fantastic collaboration. They just didn't get on. She was late all the time. She once kept him waiting for three days. I don't know if you've ever had the problem with a guest, where they don't show up for three days. I've but had that problem with an actress, but I've never <laughs> had it with a guest. Have you? Oh, now listen, but tell me, have you now, what have you, when you've worked with people that you find difficult in, in yeah. film or television, what, what do you do? Do you try and be nice to them? Do you lose your rag? Do you, how, no, what, I'm nice to them. I, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. nice to them. And then when they leave, I say to him, uh, let's never have them back. Oh, right, okay, I got you. And he goes, got oh, we got her, they're big. And I'm like, no, it doesn't matter. Oh, you know, okay, no, no. Yeah. That's, why, that's why you've been here so often. You can say what you like about you, Ken, but you're punctual. Oh. Every, <laughs> every time I've introduced you, you scoot out there oh. like the groundhog on Groundhog well, Day. It's thank awesome. You. Thank you very much. Thank it's you very much. It's very, we, we aim to please. It's a great skill. And I think popularity and punctuality in Hollywood go halfway to getting you the Oscar. I mean, you've got to act and stuff as well, but being on time... <laughs>
Are you, are you a punctual person yourself? Yeah, I hate people who are not punctual. In fact, I think it's passive-aggressive to be late. Oh, really? Yes, I do. If you're not 15 minutes early, you're late. That's what I say. Oh, OK. Well, then, I tell you, you've rather scared me in the way you said that, and, and yet also excited me at the same time. Um, and I'm not quite sure which is winning out in terms of the... Inter so in the film, then, you play... Uh... <laughs> You play Sir Lawrence Little. Did you ever meet him? I never, I never met him, but I wrote to him once um, and asked him for advice about a part that I was playing. I found his address in a book called Who's Who of the Theatre. In those days, you'd have an entry saying what you'd done, and he had pages and pages of it. And then at the end, he gave us his hobbies and clubs that he was belonged to, and then he gave us address. His London town address. Really? Um, yeah, absolutely. You could just get this in the library. So I did write to him, and he did write back. This it was like writing to one of the gods, and he wrote back. It was a simple piece of advice. He just said, "Have a bash and hope for the best." He said, "I've got no advice to offer you other than." <laughs> Have well, a bash and hope for the best. Just do it. Because years later, I remember I was directing a film years ago, mm. and it's before I got this show, and I got in touch with you yes. to ask about directing, and you said, yes, let's have lunch. And we had lunch. And you didn't know me at all, and we had lunch, and you, and you said to me, I remember what you said about casting. You said, cast your friends, because actors are a pain in the ass. Did I really? Yeah! Oh, yeah. God, God forgive me. God forgive and me. And I did, and did the you? film was terrible. Oh, God. God. So uh, I remember that. that. I remember no, Shepherd's no. Bush. It was yeah, a little, little lunch, restaurant. Very nice. It was very nice. And you worked with the same production designer that I used. Yes, Tim, I did. Tim Harvey. Very yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do yeah. 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 you still work with him? Yes, I do. Yeah, yes, he's I do. Very talented. Very but tall and thin. Very tall right. and thin, yes. And could, could play a uh, Nazi general in a Second World War film. Oh, but he's yes. also very good at designing movies. He's be probably best designing films than yeah, playing the Nazi general. More you so, I think. Yes, you don't, I think, yes, you don't yes. often get the Oscar for playing the Nazi general. Not so much. Not so much. I'm sorry, I did a child labour joke earlier on, and they've it never... Didn't go down well, they haven't, they haven't been back since. No, they, <laughs> they, they consider me a Nazi general. In really? Fact. <laughs> but with wonderful hair. Thank you. Yeah. You've got very nice hair. Now, what's going on? Why? It's gone a little bit saucy. It's, it's, it's got... There's some clay in it. There's what? Some, some moulding clay. Nice. I'm, I'm told, I'm told, and it's... Do you sculpt any other areas? Uh, well... <laughs> I don't know. We, well, do you know, of course, that depends on the touch, whether you've got the hands for the sculpting in other areas. Yeah, uh, I see your, where you're going. Of your, we have your to being. take a commercial break. Are uh, you interested in those? Uh, very much so. <laughs> I mean, yes, yes. Uh, how, how exciting. Yes, it is. Take a look at this. Uh, we'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> I'm here with Kenneth Branagh, who's all nominated for the audience. Anyway, we're out of time, Kenneth. Um, there you go. <laughs> well, no, okay. I, I always say that at the beginning of the second bit because, you know, it usually takes about four or five minutes to wind it up. Okay, all right. Okay, well, I'm, I'm with you, and I'm ready to cooperate and, in a way, just be your assistant. If I can help you to help me to help you, I think it'll all be lovely. <laughs> <laughs> and if I knew what I was and saying, I'd And the Oscar goes that. to... <laughs> I don't know. I don't have much sway with the Academy, buddy, but you won yourself four chocolate this is quarters right here. Extremely, <laughs> extremely kind of you. Right, Thank okay. You. Now, Thank you very much. What would you like to uh, end up? Would you like the uh, awkward pause, a mouth organ, or big cash prize? Big cash prize, oh, please. What time is it? Here's how you win the big cash prize, which is 50 American dollars in real quarters yeah. in a bag with a dollar sign on it. Now, do you, and it looks wonderful, but do you mind me asking, the last time I came here, and I did play for the, the big cash prize, yeah. there were notes, there were cash and a folding money. Why has it now become a perfectly good legal tender, but why is it in coin form now? Well, here's what I think. I think yes. because CBS feel that if I give it to the celebrities in coin form, they're more likely to return <laughs> <They're> it. <returning. laughs> That's a very good point. Yeah, policy. where Maybe I should pay everybody like well, that. Well, everybody was just taking the bucks and going, $50? That's awesome. Thanks very wow. much. Yeah. yeah, that's a heavy bag. Get your hand underneath that. Look, feel that. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, it's kind of, it's sort of, it's a little knobbly, isn't it? Yeah, but that's, yeah, but it's, yeah. Uh, but, but it's, uh, it, but it makes a noise and it's rather musical, so that's... And so is the bag. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> All right, there's two ways to win. Uh, as you know, you can either answer the question or you can guess what's in my box. Now, guess okay. what's in my box? A little bit tricky. I can imagine what's in the box. I don't know what's in the box. Jeff knows what's in the box. You ask, and then he... It's... That's how it's now. Oh, excellent. <laughs> very good. So what do you want to do? I, 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 I want to guess what's in the box. Wow! All right, then! <laughs> 
All right, what happens is okay. I imagine a box, yeah. and then I don't know what's in the box. Of Only course Jeff, you don't. Right, of Jeff, you don't. Jeff knows what's in the box. Yeah, okay. And then you guess, and if you get it right, Jeff will tell you. Oh. Yeah, you, how do you two? How do we work together? Yeah. Not very well. But, but <laughs> we, we will, I think, be able to guess what's in the box. But uh, I need to concentrate very hard, yes? All right, yes. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm imagining a box. Yes. <clears throat> if this helps you at all, it's large. It's large. Is it enormous? Would you call it enormous? I'd call it very, very big. It's, a, it's about the size of Arizona. Uh, <laughs> slightly smaller than Arizona. Slightly more smaller than is it, is it, is it Is it cavernous and echoey? Sure. <laughs> yeah, a cavernous and echoey box. What is in my box? A toothbrush. Uh -huh. <laughs> Jeff, what's in the box? Well, caress my skull and call me Yorick. It's a toothbrush. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. 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 Thank you.